isotopes of an element are atoms that have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. An element is defined by the number of protons it has, but the number of neutrons can be different. These are three isotopes of helium. Now they're all helium because they have two protons, but this helium has only one neutron, this has two, and this has three. We can use notation to actually describe those isotopes, and it's always in this form, A, Z, and X. Now A is the mass number, so the mass number of this first one is three. Z is the atomic number, and that's the proton number, the number of protons, and that's two. And you'll see that's two for all of these because they're all helium. And X is the chemical symbol. So HE is the chemical symbol, and it takes the place X in this notation here. So this last one is what you call helium-5. This has five total protons plus neutrons. It's helium because it's got two protons, but it has three neutrons. So these are three isotopes of the same element. I just want to make something really clear in this pro tip, which is that in physics, in nuclear physics, we're only really concerned with the nucleus of the atom. So although in chemistry they often say that the atomic number is the number of protons and it's also the number of electrons, we're not too interested in that in this part here. This is nuclear physics, we're only interested really in the makeup of the nucleus. So all those ideas about losing or gaining electrons to form ions is really just for your chemistry GCSE rather than your physics GCSE. That being said though, the word atom actually implies that we're talking about a neutral particle, a particle with no overall charge. And in that case, it would have the same number of electrons as it does protons. And what can happen when radiations hit particles is they can lose or they can gain electrons. They can become ionized. Now really, I just need you to be able to use that term in this atomic physics unit, which is that ionization can occur when a radioactive particle hits an atom. My pro tip for all of this is remembering that the proton number, the atomic number, will always be the smaller of the two numbers because the larger number, the mass number, is protons plus neutrons. So really you don't need to remember which one's on top or which one's bottom because the smallest number will always be the proton number.